Hi Capricorn, welcome into your reading. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. All right, so let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys the first week of January. Universe and your spirit guides, what do you have for my Capricorn first week of January? It's first week going into second week. If you're new to my channel, it's I don't really date my videos because time is fluid as, as is energy. So I do four readings a month. Feel free to surf around those. But let's check in your energies right now and see what's going on in the first week of January. <clears throat> and as always, I do recommend you listen to your moon and your rising so you can get a better picture of what's going on with you. You're meant to extrapolate the messages that resonate with you and leave behind those that don't. And you will have a common thread if you listen to the other element signs because you're not just one sign. You know, your, your moon and your rising as well. Uh, and you might want to see Venus. Um, Venus is in retrograde, by the way, guys. Up until throughout your uh, birthday month. And happy birthday, by the way. And happy New Year's, by the way. So things and relationships are going to be a little shaky. Just to add, uh, also, <clears throat> last but not least, we're in the universal year of six. Uh, six. The universal year of six, this is a year where everybody is either going to be getting a divorce or they're going to get... Uh, into a marriage um, and you're going to see a lot of changes towards the latter half of 2022 like November December you're setting yourself for stability in 2023 um, because we are in the year of relationships the six the six is the lovers as we all know in true all right so let's see Capricorn please give me the uh, outcome position thank you anything else for the outcome you want me to know thank you thank you thank you all right let's see at the bottom of the deck I need glasses for this don't tell me that's the Three of Swords. That sucks. All right, and also if you're new to my channel, I'm not a sugar coder. Um, as you see here, Holistic Tarot, that's what this is. This is a place for you, you can use Tarot to help you. Uh, it meant to heal you, heal you inside and heal your issues and navigate through your problems. Uh, and I, I say that because the Three of Swords is here at the bottom of the deck. So this is what you're, the feelings that you're operating on right now. And under that is judgment. And under that is the empress. You guys have some heavy duty uh, issues going on here. Some of you, um, some of you could actually be pregnant or wanting to produce something into your life, whether that's a career, uh, uh, your own company, marriage, or an actual family like children. Um, and the magician. Yeah, you're trying to manifest that. You have all these major arcanas back here. And of course, it's because they're trying to guide you through this pain. The moon, look at this, the moon, the strength, every single major arcana is back here. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody that you're very passionate with. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but it's somebody very passionate, somebody you're very attracted to, very fiery, um, and there's a lot of chemistry there. But it looks like you're trying to, um, I don't know, it feels like there's like secrets being held from you, or you feel or like you don't have all the answers. You don't have, and you don't know what to do. So you're trying to muster up all your strength to manifest something here, to produce something into your life with this fire sign or something has happened with this fire sign. And you're trying to make a judgment call because right now you're reeling. You're reeling in this pain. So I'm sorry, this isn't going to resonate with everybody, but that's very direct. Somebody here is feeling profound pain, okay? In your situation, we have the two of wands, the Ten of Pentacles, Temperance, Ace of Swords, and Six of Swords. Some of you are leaving a marriage behind. Like I said, this is the, the year of marriages and divorces. And in January, right out of the gate, some of you are making a judgment call to leave a, uh, um, a marriage behind and have a fresh new beginning in life based off of your own truth. What's true to you? What, what's important to you? Let me show you. You're making that decision, okay? Here you are at the fork in the road. You're looking out like Alice in Wonderland. You're about to begin your journey. And it's interesting because I have like dozens of tarot decks and I grabbed this one deck and I didn't know what was in it. It was like this. Let me show you. Since I'm down here, I might as well pick up the cards I just dropped. It was in this bag and I just grabbed it. I had no idea what deck was in it. And of course, it's my Alice in Wonderland deck. And it, this, you know what that tells me? Just the fact that I'm using this deck for you, Capricorn, it's the fact that you're about to go through Alice in Wonderland throughout 2022. New friends, new opportunities, new adventures. 
new journeys. You're going to meet a whole bunch of new people in 2022. You're going to you're going to make different circle of friends. Traveling, all of the above. The fact that I picked up Alice in Wonderland in your January reading, this is what's happening to you. You're at a fork in the road right there. Boom. This is like the most perfect card I can give you. Alice is looking out. She's like, do I, do I not take a risk and go down the rabbit hole or fuck it, go down the rabbit hole into a new life? And you do. You, you go into a new life. Some of you are leaving a commitment behind, a relationship, uh, one that seems like it was marriage. Um, Archangel Michael, which is temperance here, is guiding you. It, it's healing you. It's bringing you, it's trying to restore balance into your life. So this is what you do. You get in your boat and you leave. You take the rod of the two of rods and you, you take a foot forward into your future. And you leave this marriage behind or this commitment behind or whatever this was behind, okay? And you begin a new life with a fresh new opportunity with the Ace of Swords. So let's see. Let me see what this is all about. Let's continue. That's your situation. Sorry, I just like mingled too long here. But because you're dealing with pain and I, I, I want you to understand what's happening to you and what you're processing and where you're going. What is coming towards you is the two of swords and the, the star. So for me in the minor arcana, the twos are like the most important cards that, cause they tell me you're at a fork in the road. And, and this one tells me here you are again with that fork in the road, but you are torn. You, you don't know what to do. You don't know what choice to make between two roads, two paths, whether it's between two people, uh, going with a new lover, leaving an old one behind, uh, taking a uh, change in your career path, um, uh, you know, side hustle, main hustle, and the side hustle becomes the main hustle, whatever it is. It's a situation where you feel stuck and you don't know which one is the right call. And that's why we're looking at the moon at the bottom of the deck, but the star is here. The star is guiding you uh, to your true north, the optimism, hope, like you're hopeful. And it looks like because you don't know the choices that you have, the star is there to guide you. Uh, as long as you stay positive and optimistic, you're going to end up making the right decision. As long as you are truthful to yourself. That's why before I was telling you about the Ace of Swords, I was like, oh, I usually read this about some uh, about your person, like a couple. I'm like, oh, you have a fresh new beginning with somebody. In this case, it was the first time where I'm reading it for Capricorn for you, where you're having new opportunities, fresh new starts, and it's about you. Um, and the star is guiding you. So they're, like, they're saying, as long as you're truthful to yourself, true beginning, you're going to be guided into the right direction. Um, what you don't see coming at all is the five of pentacles and the king of cups. Yeah, so emotionally you're being left out in the cold, okay? And maybe you're coming to a realization about this, and this is why you're drifting away from this commitment or this marriage. Uh, and you, But still, you feel like you're left out in the cold. It's like... I feel for some of you, you, you attempted a relationship uh, in 2021, uh, Capricorn. Um, you attempted a relationship for some of you where you were going to get engaged or you were living with that person or you were married to that person and maybe it didn't work out. So you disengaged towards the end of 2021 and going into 2022, you said to yourself, I'm going to have these new starts. I'm going to have these new beginnings. But you are emotionally left out in the cold there. Some of you might have actually been separated or divorced last year and you attempted a new lover. And whatever the case is, you, you tried to heal yourself. You tried to rebound. You, you tried to do a whole bunch of stuff. 2021 was lessons because we had a lot of planets go retrograde. It was meant to help the, the, the whole collective, whatever zodiac you are, to go into 2022 so you can assemble yourself for a healthy relationship. But you find yourself here being left out in the cold emotionally. So now you're examining it. Um, and these aren't the type of readings I usually give. Uh, but here we are and you're getting this one, Capricorn. Because in your advice, you have Queen of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Somebody here is trying to give you an emotional offer. Um, but you're still holding on to something or someone. And I don't know who you're holding on to. And who this person is that's giving you an emotional offer. They're like asking you out. They're asking to speak with you based on an emotional level. Um, and, you know, the Queen of Swords is here where you're thinking cerebral, logical. You're arming your sword. Like you see her here? She has the sword armed up and ready. Two things are going to happen here when you arm your sword. You either bring it down and cut a person out. 
or you put it down uh, and then you have amnesty you speak and in this case that's what they're telling you to do because you are emotionally left out in the cold in your advice position it's telling you hang on hold on because the four pentacles talks about holding on to something and it's not like oh someone's holding on to you or you're you're holding on to them that may be the case but in your advice it's saying yeah hold on hold on for a second here think about this rationally think about this logically before you cut something out of your life or maybe that's what you need to do so they're saying hold on don't make a rash decision because there's an emotional offer coming in towards you so hold on before you make any kind of action think logically and rationally okay because maybe you're emotionally unstable right now we're going to clarify all these and we're going to see we're going to get into the nuance of it now in your outcome this is where i need my glasses we have the seven of pentacles what are these the seven of swords Ooh, the land of sevens and the two of pentacles all right so you're trying to juggle a situation here between trying to be crafty and clever versus uh on what you should invest in if you should invest in someone or something you're trying to be clever about it you're trying to think about it because the seven of swords is usually my card of somebody cheating lying stealing doing some backstabbing some some kind of fuckery but in this outcome position, when you're sitting here calculating something, you're wondering how much you can get away with something. And, you know, because you've invested time and energy into someone uh, and you're trying to juggle it. You're trying to assess. You're assessing between uh, investing into something or someone as in a relationship or even a company project or a, a job versus like cutting your losses and seeing what you can get away with. But I see you calculating how much to invest into someone or something that's what it feels like and this is not sustainable but this is what you're doing the first week so let's get into the clarification process and see what's going on here so i know what you're dealing with because right now you're not you know in your right state of mind because you're feeling this pain and you're like oh my god you know so now you're in this position like of calculation and and, and what you should do and how much you should invest and it's 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 like you trying to you're treating something here like a transaction. So let me see. Capricorn. Alice in Wonderland, I tell you guys. All right. What is this Ace of Swords, please, specifically? I know what the other stuff is. What's the Ace of Swords, please? This might be a bit of a long reading. Sorry, guys, I apologize. But this is a heavy-duty reading, and I want to get through this with you because there's a Three of Swords. And I don't take that lightly for anybody. All right? The Nine of... Uh, and it's your birthday month, my babies. <laughs> nine of Swords, um, the King of Cups, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, some of you are stressing over uh, someone that you had profound love for. You know, you're disappointed it didn't work out. You're disappointed and upset it, 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 and, it, and you're up at night thinking about it, ruminating it over it, over and over and over again. So you're, you're, I don't know if you're trying to debate whether you should have a fresh new start with this person or with just yourself, but it feels like it's more about you. Um, like you going off and having your own fresh new start in your life because you're too, you're just too much in your head right now over the disappointment and the loss of this love. King of Cups, this is somebody in love. This is you drinking your feelings and the Nine of Swords up at night, thinking about it, ruminating. What's the, and you know, and I know this is what you're thinking about, you, you're doing because of the Two of Swords. Anything else about the situation for Capricorn? Anything else you wanna add for Capricorn, please? Anything else? a lot of cards i'm putting it back in the deck but i will read them so let me see the knight of swords the three of pentacles the king of swords the ten of Ra okay so you're obviously in this place where you're waiting for this person potentially to come back because somebody here was overloaded with burdens and instead of just working it out in the relationship they cut their losses and ran so i'm not saying this is you it could have been your person that you were dealing with but, you know, it, there was definitely a third-party situation. I don't want to hear it. Don't fucking tell me there isn't. There is. And, and, if there, and if you're not aware of the third-party situation, that's just it. You're not aware of it. Okay? Because there's a moon back there. 
at the when we were first reading your your cards here somebody and you're, you're waiting for this person to come in and speak to you or you're potentially thinking about it too but somebody cut their losses because there was a third party situation and maybe there physically wasn't a cheating going on because i do see the cheating card back here and i see do i see two threes maybe somebody isn't physically cheating but there was an energy somebody was holding on to someone else there, there's an energy there that's definitely in the mix between you and this person. So here you are thinking about moving on, cutting your losses, and because but you're not. You're really in this place of just thinking about it, the loss of the love. You're ruminating over it. So what's the star and the two of swords? You're like telling yourself, what do I do? What should I do? Do I go after this person? Do I leave this person behind? But energetically, I see you leaving. The star, the two of swords. Yeah, four of wands. This is somebody you were living with or you were engaged with. Or somebody you wanted to be engaged with. Somebody you wanted to have a foundation with. Four of wands. This is having a foundation with someone. You see those four wands? Those are pillars of a foundation. Foundation is a relationship. Foundation is a home. It's your job. It's your company. It's your, whatever you deem a foundation. But the star and the two of swords being stuck between this foundation that you have with someone lovers it's a lover for me it's it, it's about your lover that you were either living with or you were going to get engaged with or level up in your relationship but it looks like you left the commitment behind okay and some of you you're debating between going towards possibly for you potentially a new lover because there's a lover here there's, there's somebody from your past that you're leaving behind, and then there's a new lover that's coming in, If you, unless they're already here, okay? But they're on their way, for sure. Um, you're torn. That's what's coming to you the first week of January. What is this four of pentacles, five of pentacles and the king of cups? as this I can't be please you're yeah look at you you're trying to start a passionate new beginning despite your obstacles despite your challenges despite your blocks you're trying to attempt a uh, passionate new beginning here even though you feel left out in the cold there's somebody here who's interested in you Capricorn uh, who wants a passionate new beginning with you. Um, what is interesting to me, and I keep saying interesting, is because I kind of don't know what you're going to do. Only because your outcome is telling me you're, you're juggling it, the concept of both people. So you might be the one entertaining a third-party situation. Because somebody's not is showing you no love that you were that you had a heavy commitment with. Others of you, yeah, and they're not showing you any love. Somebody you had a heavy commitment with, they're showing you no love. They're, they're, they feel like you, you feel like they abandoned you. Um, but there's, some, there's another lover here showing you love who wants a new beginning with you and you're debating it. But, you know, some of you are still in this place of like being stuck because your feelings are still where they are because you had a commitment. Nobody lets go of those easily. Uh, and this is it. Everyone's, the whole collective reading is going to be the same in January because this is the fresh new beginnings. And this is the year we have the divorces and the marriages. And here we are. We're, we're clearing the path in January. Um, and here you are in your thoughts. You're in the twos. You're in the fork in the road. You're in that decide, this. I so far see three twos. The two of pentacles in your outcome. The two uh, of rods in your situation. And the two of swords in what's coming towards you. You're in the land of twos going into the sevens, which is you're, you're at a pause. It's like you're at the fork in the road and now you're literally standing there this way or that way. So let's go into your situation because there's also some kind of offers coming in towards you that you don't see coming, like a passionate new beginning. You're not expecting this at all. I just, you know, I don't know who it's from. And I feel like it's a new person because it's an ace. You may know them, though. 
It's like, oh my God, I'm left out in the cold, but I have this opportunity here that just came out of left field. What is this? That's the vibe I'm getting from you guys. So now my nose is itchy, which tells me your spirit guides are here. Yeah, you, you're, you have a lack of focus here. You, you have a lack of focus. Um, so what, they're, what spirit is telling you, you need to hold on. You need to wait. Before you make any kind of rash decision, Capricorn, because the three of uh, rods back there is telling me you're waiting for somebody to come back towards you. Somebody else might be coming back towards you that you were not expecting. It's like shocking a little bit, I want to say. Not exactly. But Spirit is saying with the, sh with, um, the chariot in reverse, do take a pause. Do hold on. Stop for a second. Don't rush off. Because, you know, all. of course you want to remain focused on your life. Of course, you want to charge ahead regardless of the positive, the negative. But in the reverse and in your advice, it's saying, no, hold on. Stop the bus of life. Stop. Because you need to make a decision here. There might be some opportunity coming in towards you that you need to recognize or see here. Okay, because somebody came is coming in and is stopping to give you some kind of an emotional offer. Again, I don't know who it is. Because I'm not seeing any of the... Uh, court cards here which tells me the energies of the other people you're dealing with so far this feels like it's all about you Capricorn I'm feeling a solitary energy and I don't normally get that when I'm talking about you and another person I usually get you know multiple energies this reading is more about you all right and the eight of pentacles in reverse all of, and it's funny because everything else is upright except for in your advice, in the reverse. It's saying you need to stop putting effort and work into something that you're doing. They're saying pause, hold on, you need to get logical, you need to get rational, look at what, you know, stop putting effort into something that's like beating a dead horse. Kind of feeling, kind of vibe I'm getting. Um, but this offer... I'm so curious about this offer and it's kind of like not telling me. Come on, Tarot, tell me what this offer is. Oh my God, it's, an, it's another night. Somebody's coming in to message you based off of emotion. Anything else? Three of Pentacles. Somebody here wants to collaborate with you. All right, I can't really say anything else. That's what it is. All right, let me see what's going on here. I'm going to, um, in the extended, those of you that are members, in the extended, I'm going to um, get a little bit more clarification in regards to this. I want to know this, this passionate new beginning that you don't see coming. We're going to do a little bit of a deeper dive there. We're also going to do some clarifications with Tarot on the Romance Angels, whatever pops out in the Kipper deck. And then I'm also going to go from Aries to uh, Pisces to see who you're dealing with, Capricorn. Um, but let's go ahead and see why these two sevens are here specifically. What's the seven of swords? What is Capricorn doing here? It's got to be so far away. On the Seven of Pentacles, somebody here made a poor judgment call in regards to the Seven of Swords. Like cheating or entertaining a third party energy, someone made a poor decision here. Yeah, and then... What's the two of pentacles? You're, yeah, you're, somebody here is trying to calculate. Okay, so Capricorn, if you're thinking about getting away with something, with someone, whether this is cheating or you're a third party or you're entertaining a third party, um, it's a poor judgment call, okay? Because we have judgment in reverse. And let me tell you, when it's a major arcana in the reverse and it's a spirit angel, that is going to build your bad karma. So I'm warning you, be careful. I'm not saying this is who you are. I'm just pre-warning you, pre, you know, but being pre-warned is being armed, okay? So if you're thinking about doing some kind of cheating or you're entertaining a cheater, whatever it is, poor judgment call. Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the sun. This to me is talking about potentially a reconciliation. I don't feel like it's a reconciliation with somebody that you're aware of. I think this is just happiness, you know? Others of you, you're thinking about potentially reinvesting your energy and time with maybe a Leo, because the sun is a Leo card. Uh, what is the two of pentacles? Maybe some of you feel like you're cheating on somebody you broke up with because you moved on. It, it, it's something like this kind of an energy. 
So you're trying to balance a situation here where you're emotionally guarded because obviously you've been hurt. You're in this you're in this place of pain and you're trying to heal with the four of swords, you know? So you're emotionally guarded and you're trying to heal at the same token. Uh, and that's what you're juggling. You're juggling a place where you know if you're emotionally guarded and you're shut down, there's no there's no chance of inviting love back into your life, but at the same time you're healing and you know it. So you're trying to find a healthy balance on how to get yourself back there or to, to accomplish the things that you need to accomplish in this relationship or whoever you're dealing with. Uh, but you know at the same time you're emotionally guarded and you're trying to heal. So you're wondering if you can get away with something here. I don't know what this cheaty thing is. You, you would know. Drop a comment, guys. Um, whoever you're dealing with that just came into your life, this new person, and I'm going to do the deeper dive in the uh, extended... They're faded. They're, they were faded to you. Capricorn, please. Capricorn. Yeah. You, you've retreated. I, I, I really pretty much sense that, you know, obviously this whole, I mean, three of swords, you're in pain. I mean, obviously you've taken a step back. Trust the universe. Trust that the universe has your back and that they're going to bring you in what you need. See at the bottom of the deck, I have reconciliation. Some of you might have a reconciliation. Uh, those of you who could be dealing with a Leo, I do see reconciliation here. Um, doesn't have to be. I'm going to clarify reconciliation for those of you that are having a reconciliation. Others of you, um, you've retreated and you're at that place of that fork in the road and the sevens. That's not going to stay like that forever. Things are going to change. We're going to clarify. We're going to see. Let me see what Kipper has for you and then we'll be done with your reading. Capricorn. honor all right some of you at work um you're getting um some kind of accolades or somebody here is getting some kind of recognition at work for sure um and toil and labor yeah okay so some of you recently picked up like a, a new job or some kind of side hustle or something some nuance and it's to pay the bills or just to get extra cash um, others of you have been working on some kind of craft, some, some kind of hobby or some kind of side hustle, and now you're getting accolades for it, okay? Because the toil and labor talks about the nuanced details, doing the hard work, uh, but not getting a lot of rewards from it. It's just something that you've got to do just to do, to, to get to like a means to an end. Um, but there are high honors coming in from it, okay? Because some of you could be working on a side hustle, um, to get here um others of you like maybe you're writers authors i don't know and you're getting recognition and but you're working really hard you're not getting paid but you are getting recognition that's what this is telling me others of you if this is romantically inclined and i'm going to clarify this with tarot for members it's just you dealing with the nuance of this relationship the toil the labor the the bullshit the crap you don't want to deal with the baggage you know but um it's saying that to, to remain honorable throughout whatever it is that is you're going through in your situation, okay? All right, guys. So um, that's what I have for you. I'll see you guys next week. Members, come follow me for the extended.